Can you imagine getting news that someone you loved had died only to discover that it wasn't true? Well, that's exactly what happened way back in 1968 when for a brief moment, fans of the TV show Leave It to Beaver got news that Jerry Mathers had been killed in action in Vietnam. Perhaps the best account of that particular moment came from journalist Stephen Talbot, who, when he was a child, starred opposite Jerry on television as the Beaver's best friend Gilbert. He said the news stopped him cold. He didn't want to believe it, but there had been so many deaths, assassinations, and shocking events over the past few years that it seemed entirely possible. Stephen, pictured here on the right with his then-girlfriend, had been in touch with Jerry on and off since their days on that classic TV show. But back in 1968, it had been more off than on in recent years. Even Tony Dow had heard the bad news, which resulted in him, being the kind and gracious person that he was, sending flowers to Jerry's parents. And actress Shelley Winters announced that the beaver had passed to the entire world on Johnny Carson. Yep, it definitely seemed like Jerry Mathers had gone on to meet his maker. The only thing was, he really hadn't. Fans of Leave it to Beaver know that Jerry is still with us even today. With Tony Dow's passing last year, he is the only remaining member of the Cleaver family still with us, and among just a very few cast members that still remain, including journalist Stephen Talbot, thank heavens. After the rumors of Jerry's death, it seemed like he spent the next few years just trying to remind folks that he was alive and trying to understand how this rumor had started in the first place. Those who have looked into the rumor have concluded that it all started here with the combat death of Sergeant Stephen Mathers on October 26, 1968. There is speculation that a couple of news organizations saw this and just for a few hours believed that Stephen was the actor who played the beaver on TV. Thousands of American soldiers died during the Vietnam conflict. As you all know, I don't delve into politics on this channel, but let me just say that I am thankful to anyone who has served in any of the branches of the U.S. Armed Forces. I truly appreciate the sacrifices that each person has courageously made. As long as I'm acknowledging things, I should also mention that I first got the inspiration for this video from the January 2023 issue of Retro Fan Magazine, which includes a great article about Leave it to Beaver with contributions from both Jerry Mathers and the late Tony Dow. It was there that I found this little article about the rumors of Jerry's death. Leave it to Beaver seemed to have its fair share of urban myths, if I recall, including one about Ken Osmond, the actor who played Eddie Haskell, actually being Alice Cooper. That one's not true either, folks. One of the hottest rumors of the 70s was that Eddie Haskell from our show grew up to be Alice Cooper. Mm. Come to think of it, Ken Osmond, who played Eddie Haskell, never actually denied that rumor to me. What about to you? Yeah, now that you mention it, hey. I, how can you guys compare that face to this face? You guys are dopier than I thought. Hey, Eddie, what are you doing here? Well, I didn't want you two making total fools of yourself on MTV. So I thought I'd swing by and add a little Haskell charm to help bail you guys out. You know, Eddie, we loved you in your new video, The Man Behind the Mask. Yeah, that black mascara bit. Looking great. Look, you guys know that I am not Alice Cooper. I have never been Alice Cooper. I never will be Alice Cooper. Now, will you tell the folks out there, I am not Alice Cooper. Another fun little bit of Jerry Mathers trivia is the fact that after the TV show, but before the rumors of his death, Jerry was in a rock and roll band called Beaver and the Trappers. Here's a picture of the band. I must admit that I don't get the humor of this image at all. Is that an ice pick in one of the band members' hands? All in all, I'd say that Beaver and the Trappers weren't half bad. I bet even Ward and June might enjoy their music. If you want to check out their single Happiness is Havin, you can find it right here on YouTube. What can't you find at this wonderful place? I'll post a link to it in the description section of this video. And if you stick around for just a minute or two, I'm going to play a vintage commercial from the 80s that features Jerry Mathers, so hang tight. But first, just a simple request for each of you to share your memories in the comments section. Do you remember when the world thought the beaver had died? Let me know along with anything else you might have to share. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And what the heck? Maybe even think about subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, 
Thanks so much for watching. We're just seconds away from that vintage commercial, but first, I wanted to say thanks to my wonderful channel members. If you're poor in Kellogg's Corn Flakes, you've earned a special place on the front of America's favorite cereal. Sit down to a familiar face, the face of a Kellogg Corn Flake lover, the face of America too. Thank you.